SMPTV near Yamako BM at the bar SMPTV platform here. So, yes, Yamame, her ladyship, the Chief Justice Gertrude Isaba Tokono, why yadi ye papa papa papa, and eh, Wama Court of Appeal Judge Justice, if you are a wasa rebuchi, I want a trial judge in the ongoing ambulance trial, I'm a ongoing court proceedings in the public, yes. I'm gonna for Ubia a bit in your follow. Um, same PTV, yes, as usual. Yeah, the live updates and a bremo. CCA justice. If you are a wasa rebuchi, a catch it. Richard Japa, say Japa. Aha, in your lecture room. Aha, in your classroom. Aha, in your lecture theater. And you know, Baba Chere and Brazil City. And you know, Baba Chere to be a monetary. You must have question. You are no city city and I want a lawyer. I thought you're sorry. A sorry is an incomplete objection. And I uh, am yeah, my justice if you ask us a reboot tree. A tea and I say, lawyer, sorry. Call to them ha. who has the finance. Me, me, judge, and I'm what the finance. And I say, oh, lawyer, now what the finance. Uh, Richard Japa said, the who see a poor court honorable power will be the number one tea and we did you know. And Nika Keke. Live video. Young court, Nian Kohe. Live court proceeding. Said the AC Kosisia. It will accra high court. You see that the figures I was supposed to raise to pay the sale price by raising the report on their top test. Yes, my lord. My raising the report will work out the transferable letter of credit from these bankers. And my lord. And my lord. And my lord, if you look at the payment terms of Exhibit B, the negotiating point of the LC is as Jebel Ali. That's the negotiating point. Jebel, Jebel Ali. That is the negotiating point of the LC. What that means, my lord, once BC loads the vessel and the vessel sells and BC takes possession, sells and BC takes possession of the B of Lady. It is deemed delivered because the goods are deemed delivered because both parties agree in LGBT as Japan and the North at the negotiating point of the LC. BC. Submit the bill of lading to the bankers of the purchase. The LC has condition precedent for payment, and BC General Trading LLC can only meet the conditions by delivering the bill of lading and all the accompanying documents delivering the bill of lading with all the accompanying documents of shipment to the future set back and the negotiation of the LC is compliant
Of shipwrecks. Mm -hmm. And my Lord, it is so that uh, we are speaking this way is so because. No, I go to Google and there's if there's no doubt you type in. No, the issue is that it's a different question. I'm not going to post it. Just start, please start, please start. Please. Then we can start. Thank you, Mr. That you don't invite so that they don't answer you. Just so that it's the opportunity. I think we now don't have the opportunity to ask this question. It's your, it's your, it's your, it's your, what's it? It's your palava. Please, at the end of the day, what you say, is not as important as in making sure that it is on the backboard. So if you think that you don't want to slow down so that they'll type it, so that you can't have to type it But this is why he has switched. Do you know where she has switched? Yes, my lord. Right, so accompanying the documents of shipping. Accompanying documents are submitted to the purchases bank. In compliance, with the, the preconditions in the LC. And those preconditions have been agreed by both parties as the only condition for payment. So whether the good Arrive at the market or the force majeure on the sea.
always, we will isolate the key points for you viewers, and then we go into them, delve into them one after the other. So the first part of what happened in court was the admission of Jacques' dismissal letter from the Ghana Armed Forces into evidence. That letter was admitted into evidence. The second one is, after a bit of struggle, after a bit of struggle, it was admitted to evidence. The second one is, as you see on the screen, the legality of the Big C agreement. And that's important because the Attorney General has been stressing that the agreement, the, the ambulance agreement, it's been an international con con contract. Pursuant to the provisions of 1992 Constitution, I believe Article 289 or so, I can't remember well, I had to go to Parliament. It needed parliamentary approval. So the Parliament of 2012 looked at it and they approved it. The, the, the fact here is that the Big C company was not part of what was approved by Parliament. And that, that's what it means about the legality of the Big C agreement. Big C is the company that uh, Richard Jackpa was an agent for, the company that was to deliver the ambulances uh, that Richard Jackpa was representing in Ghana. Okay, the next one is issues about the commission paid to Richard Jackpa. As you all know, viewers, at the end of the day, a case Lato Forsen is being prosecuted for occasioning financial loss to the state. Now, the financial loss to the state for which Mr. Arthur Forsen is being prosecuted is 2.1 million uh, euros or so, significant amount of money. It turns out in court today that uh, Richard Jackpa earned from the taxpayer 700,000 euros for no work done, absolutely no work done. That's what came up in court today. This is very interesting. You now see how people who are desperate to record, people are fighting, because I think they, they knew that this day will come, and they were hoping to prevent this day from coming. That is why they file a mistrial. That is why they do a press conference. They say they have some tape, because they don't want us to know that Richard Jaffa, Ghanaian taxpayers, MPP foot soldiers, NDC foot soldiers, me, I'm one of them. We are all foot soldiers. Listen. Richard Jackpa took 700,000 euro of your money. Those of you who are shouting, hey, Richard Jackpa, the guy in the box, he said in court today, admitted that he has collected 700,000 euro of the Ghanaian taxpayers' money into his pockets for being a representative of a company that was to deliver ambulance that did not deliver a single ambulance. Your money, my money has gone into his pocket, 700,000. And Johnson Asidu Ketia was presenting this guy as a paragon of virtue at a press conference together with Samuel Jemfi, the National Propaganda Secretary of the National Democratic Congress. They together held a press conference, presented Richard Jackpa as a paragon of virtue. They did not tell us, and they always don't tell us the whole truth. They did not tell us that the said Richard Jackpa had benefited from the taxpayers' money, 700,000 euros. Viewer looking at me, Kosi Mensa in uh, Aboba, Kofi in uh, Takrade, Mansa in Kumase, have you collected 700,000 euro of the taxpayers' money for no work done? If you have done the work, the taxpayer needs to pay you, no problem. Richard Jack took 700,000 euro of the taxpayers' money into his pocket. Now you understand why they said, mistrial, we don't want the trial, we don't want the attorney general, Godfrey Dami is a bad boy, take him out. You see how Samit Jemfi was saying, Godfrey Dami is evil. Because they knew that if the trial progresses, Ghanaians are going to turn their guns on anyone who has taken their money. And that is Richard Jaqua. Let's move on. Uh, admission of Jaqua's dismissal letter from the Ghana Armed Forces. The prosecution, led by Alfred Tuyayebua, Deputy Attorney General, sought to tender the dismissal letter which terminated the employment of Richard Jaqua in the army into evidence. This was faced by an objection by Tadios Sori, who attacked the relevance of the document. Tamaklu, who sought to alert his counterpart on his feet to say that the evidence was self-serving, was scolded by the court when the court asked whether he, Tamaklu, skipped his law of evidence classes. Hey, this was a bit dramatical. The court subsequently admitted the letter into evidence. So the story here is that when they tender the letter, that this is the letter of Richard Jackpa, the man in the dock, this is the letter of Richard Jackpa, and that the prosecution sought to tender that in evidence, that your story, counsel for the defense, raised the objection and said that it wasn't relevant. Whilst Basit Bamba was on his feet, court report says that Tamaklo was telling Basit Bamba I believe in his very arrogant connotation, Tamaklu, very, very arrogant boy. In his very arrogant connotation, he was telling Basit Bamba 
That and I can say that about Tamaklu because I've hosted him on Good Evening Ghana and praised his work as a, a going to Supreme Court for Zanetta Rollins. But since then, the guy has become so brutally arrogant, I just stay away from him. I saw him at a funeral. The way the guy behaved, I just stay away from him. I don't know how people say something small, NDC legal, that just gets into their head and they think that they become some, hey, take your time, Oga. Relax. There's a long way ahead. Relax. Eh? Relax. He rose up in court. Giddy, giddy, giddy. To tell Basit Bamba his senior. Basit Bamba taught even me. Me. Basit Bamba taught me. So he's his senior Accra. But he's his colleague in the court. He's a counterpart. He was telling Basit Bamba that the evidence is self-serving. Then the court, when lawyers say the court, they mean the judge. Then the court told him that, did you skip your evidence lecture? Sit down. That's why we said the court scolded him. In, in the conclusion, the court admitted the evidence. What was in the letter? That was written by the Ghana Armed Forces. And who signed it? Let's go to that. This is the letter. Army Headquarters, Burma Camp, Accra, 77539 something. 12 September 2007. Reference, Army number. Please, release from service for unsatisfactory conduct. Lieutenant Richard Jakba. These are the details. Be the first to know and send PT.